Understanding the phrase, head for, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English learning channel. Today, we have a very interesting topic to discuss, and that is the phrase, head for. This phrase might seem simple, but it's used quite frequently in everyday English, and understanding how to use it correctly can really enhance your communication skills. So, let's dive in and learn all about head for. Head for is a phrasal verb, and it generally means to move in a particular direction or towards a particular place. For example, if you say, I am heading for the store, it means you are moving in the direction of the store or going towards the store. It's important to note that head for can be used in both literal and figurative contexts. Literally, it can refer to physical movement, like in the example I just gave. Figuratively, it might refer to the direction in which a situation is developing. Let's go through some examples to understand how head for can be used in different contexts. 1. Literal movement. After the movie, we decided to head for the nearest restaurant. 2. Figurative use. With all these problems popping up, the project is heading for disaster. As you can see, head for can describe both actual physical movement and the progression of a situation. A common mistake learners make is confusing head for with head to. While they can sometimes be used interchangeably, head for is more about the direction and Head to is more about the destination. Here's a quick tip. Think of head for as moving towards something, not necessarily reaching it. Now, let's practice. I will say a sentence, and I want you to decide if head for is used correctly. 1. We need to hurry and head for the airport. Our flight is in two hours. 2. The discussion in the meeting started to head for a conflict. Feel free to pause the video and think about it, then play again to check your answers. And that's it for today's lesson on Head For. I hope this video has been helpful and has cleared up any confusion about how to use this common English phrase. Remember, practice makes perfect. So try to use head for in your own sentences and conversations. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.